It's often said of ExamView that it's a great utility for making questions or quizzes rather from content provided by a publisher but it's not so good at actually delivering those quizzes, especially in an online environment. Conversely, it's often said of Blackboard that it's a great utility for delivering online quizzes, but the interface that you have to use to create those quizzes is a little clunky. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to combine some of the best practices of both applications, have them work together to solve a common problem which is saving you time by creating a highly customized quiz using publisher content. So the first step in that process is to open ExamView and create a new test. We are going to name this Discover Biology. That's the name of the book uh, whose questions we're drawing from. And chapter four quiz. Okay, so we've done that now. And the next step is actually to select questions. Now for this test, we know that there are very precise criteria that we want to select from. So for example, we know what, we know what kind of students we have, we know where the strengths and weaknesses are, we know the type of test that we want. Now this publisher, W.W. W. Norton, and my publisher, has built into each question metadata, specific information about each question that will, using ExamView's advanced features, help you select um, for those particular criteria. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First thing that we're going to do is select, and we're going to select according to criteria. Now we know that it's chapter four that we're interested in, so we're first going to select the chapter four test bank. Select no. Now there are 77 questions in here, but we know based on our students that we want medium type questions. And we also know that the type of medium type questions that we're interested in, we want them to be factual based. So we're going to click on factual. There are 13 questions according to exam view that meet those criteria. And we don't want 13 questions, so we can either select, select randomly, or if you really want to, to exer exercise the greatest of precision, collect, select select while viewing. We then now have the opportunity to select individual questions, and all of them here meet certain criteria. They are all going to be factual based, and they're going to be a difficult of medium difficulty. So let's few, choose a few questions. Okay, we like those three to start with. Okay. And we need a few more questions. We know for example that we need a few difficult questions on there. We want to make sure that those difficult questions are all conceptual in nature. We want to challenge our students but there are six questions. We don't want six difficult questions, so let's take a look at them. And then we can, we can select. Again, notice that we've filtered out just for very specific questions. These are all difficult in nature, and these are all conceptual. So three of those. Finally, we want a few more questions. We want to throw some easy ones in there. And we want the easy ones to be applied in nature. There are four of them. We want all of those, so we're going to select randomly. And we're going to select all four of those questions that meet those criteria. I'm going to close that out. So now we have a, a quiz ready to go. It has a total of 12 questions, and we have an answer key. Everything's looking good, but how do we get from here to Blackboard? It's a very, very simple process. The first thing that you're going to want to do is probably save this test. And then once you've saved it, we're going to export. And we're going to export, as you can see, we have a number of choices, 
but we're going to export either to Blackboard 6.0 to 7 or to Blackboard 7.1 plus. You need to know what version of Blackboard you have before you make the selection or it's not going to work. I know for a fact that I need to export to Blackboard 6.0. So I'm going to select that. A screen will appear asking me to give it a name. Try to be as specific as possible. So we're going to call this Discover Biology Chapter 5 Quiz. And we're going to save that to our desktop for to, easy find, to find it easily later. I want to give this a name, again, highly specific, chapter 5, demo, quiz. You can provide any information that you want in the description field. And you want to make sure if there are images in your test bank, as we know that there are in our, in our question, uh, that we want to add some, we want to add a directory. So we're going to name that directory, images. Okay, well we have successfully exported the very highly customized quiz that we built from publisher content within exam view. We now want to switch to Blackboard. And we want to bring that quiz into Blackboard. So the first thing that we're going to do is get back to the main, our main page. And then we're going to go to the control panel. And we're going to select Pool Manager. Now there are two steps to getting this quiz that we just created into Blackboard. They're both very, very easy. You have to add your quiz that you exported from ExamView into the question pool before creating a test. That's a very simple process. You just want to go to the Pool Manager, click on Import. Then want to browse for the file that you exported. And I remember what I named it because I gave it a specific name. So Discover Biology Chapter 5 Quiz. And once it's been added, we'll submit that. The pool has been imported, the log is below. Click OK. Now it's a very, very simple process of going to the test manager, adding a test, giving it a name, and fill out all of the information, the description and instructions. And the next step, hit the submit button. And then when this, the test canvas appears, instead of creating individual questions, we're going to seek out the quiz that we added, exported from exam view into the pool manager. There it is. And we're going to select in turn, under question types, all questions. And as you can see here, the questions have been added. Um, don't be nervous if you see what appears to be a broken image. If you want to make sure that it's going to appear, just click the preview button. And as you can see, it's appearing just fine. You then want to select all of those questions because we know this is the quiz that we want to deliver to students, meeting our very specific criteria. Hit the submit button. The questions have been added and they're ready to go. Now at this point, you could change how the questions appeared. So you could change the answers, the questions. You could add your own questions at this point. But we're happy with this, so we're going to stick with this quiz. And that is all there is to it. So from exam view into Blackboard in a very, very short amount of time. Thanks.